Hey guys, it's Tiff. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm coming on today with a swap reveal. Um, I'm doing a swap with Christina Crafts and I will put her information down below. Um, it was after Christmas when we decided to do the swap, but we were both so not ready to be done with crafting Christmas. So um, that's why we just went ahead and did one and we just said, just whenever you're ready, go ahead and send it out. And I had so much fun. Um, we had a couple things that we had to put in here, but I did a lot of extras and stuff. So I just wanted to show you what I did. Um, so for Christmas, I really stuck to the whole kind of snow and cocoa theme. Um, but this one, I can't remember what the name of it. It came out a couple years ago and it's so cute, but lots of pinks and teals and um, did the snow and cocoa thing right there. So let me show you what I made. Um, I first did um, a cute little embellishment box and I'm going to stick this back a little bit. And um, I just, pink for Christmas to me is my favorite. So, and just did a simple background and put in lots of kind of fun things for Christmas. Um, I love these little hats that I got this year from Timu and a couple handmade um, charms. And these are some of my fa favorite pink. Um, they just look like candy, like Christmas candy. I just love them. So all just kinds of different things in here. Cabochons, beads these sweet little Christmas trees. I love it. So, and, um, this cute little pink fox. Oh my gosh. He's one of my favorite this year too. So, so that's that. So I'll send her an embellishment box. And then here I made the purse from Scrap Diva. So when it's all in here, this is what it's going to look like. And I did this really pretty dangle I wire wrapped all the beads and there's a couple charms in there but here's that one fun bead I did that as the bottom piece so all that and then this skate rental 15 cents was so hard to give up because it comes from snow and cocoa and it's real and I was like ah but I wanted to share so I just thought it really made the basket so okay let me take everything out and I will show you I'm putting in here. I didn't really do much to the purse. I decorated it very, very minimal. So, okay. Um, here's like a little candy box. And instead I did little mini, a couple mini rosettes. I just think that's so cute. I really worked on my packaging with this one. There's that. And then uh, these turned out incredible. This is from KS Craft. And it also comes with a candle dye in it. Oh my goodness. I popped them up in foam and made them. And I just absolutely love how these turned out. So again, like I said, I'm working on my packaging. I filled it with sequins and, and then used those sequins to glue up here. But um, I'm going to make myself some of these. These are just absolutely the cutest little paper clips. Back in here. And I made her some poinsettias. And this back topper came from my really good friend Lillian. And um, I just took some of that tool and glued it on a piece of paper and um, folded it over and stapled and then just glued that to the top but she can pop that right off and use that so and i love these poinsettias so, and then these were super fun to make i might have to pull this back a little bit okay so first of all look at this cute little dingle i used the pieces that i put in her embellishment box and um these are the flag die from uh, Scrap Diva, and then in, in the middle, I put up those big, um, <laughs> what do you call those, um, wreaths that you get at Christmas. So, I loved the packaging. Let me get this over again. Super, super, super cute. And all she'd have to do is cut the bottom if she wanted to and just pull it out. So, there's that. 
Um, here are some of the little tags, the bread tags from Scrap Diva. And again, I just stuck on this bow so she can pop it right off and use it herself. This turned out so cute. I love them, the little bows. Um, here are some, I got this idea from Amber Brights, um, just making the paper clips and using my fuse tool. It's, um, I just got that this year and tried that. So I made three of these paper clips for her. And then look at that cute back topper too. If you guys want to know how to make these, let me know and I'll send you over a link to Amber's page. It was so easy and I'm getting better with my sewing, but still working on it, but I really like how that turned out. Um, then here is the chocolate bar box from KS Craft and you open it up and I did an inlay of just sequins and then this is just die cuts and let me see what I got in here. Maybe this might open up easier. Nope. There we go. Just lots of different things in there. Okay, so I gave her two of these boxes so that she could make her own because I wasn't sure if she had this die. And then I made a couple of these banners in different colors from the collection. A few of these tags, one of each size. Oh, actually I didn't. Um, but these were the some of the papers that I used in the collection and then she can just use that to decorate. And then I did a couple just different holiday words. Stay cozy, wishes, winter, warm. So again, those all match. Super cute. Put that back in there. And then I just gave her just a bag of goodies. We were supposed to do a trim sampler, but I decided I had got these from Nifty Crafty Me. I had received a few of them this year, so I just gave it to her like this, the way I received them. And I loved it. And then I did buy her the KS Craft, the one with the, the cute little um, paper clips. And see here, it comes with the candle. This is a fun, fun die set. So I got her that one. Just a little tiny deer. I know you can't see them kind of like there from Timu. And then a couple patches. So I hope she likes it. That's the Christmas part. Um, we had talked since we were still in Valentine's season if we wanted to do a few Valentines. And I said, sure. So um, oh, and we had to do a 3D project, so that's what I did for Valentine's, is I made this. Um, let me see if I can go back just a little bit. Um, this is the arrow, um, bow and arrow thing from um, Nifty Crafty Me. I had put it on the Instagram, um, and I just kind of filled it up again with some really fun goodies, and I stuck to more of the doodle bug. Let me pull this all out. So I just filled it with um, some tissue paper to kind of hold hold it. But this is really sturdy. And here's a little charms I made on the side for her. Made the arrows. Here's the little focal point. So it's a little backpack. Super cute. So in here we had also had to do back toppers. So I did these, did the lips and put charms on it and then just did another sweet back topper. Love it. And here, um, easy back topper. But here are those little hearts. Um, I love this. You guys have got to get this because I can see this doing many, many, many projects. Um, I turn these into keychains, but this is from um, Scrap Diva. I just love it. So, give her some of those. 
And um, here's another one of those little boxes, but this time I filled it up with um, words that she can use for Valentine's. thought that was a cute way to send them. And I just made two flags on the top. Use those picks from um, the dollar store. Just love how everything turned out. Just makes a cute thing to add to the top. There's this one. And then just a couple um, little fun things for her. And sweet tarts, that's the only candy I sent, but um, absolutely had a fun time with this swap. And it was really fun to not have a deadline, not have a ton of things that you had to make, but just kind of be free to make what you like. So um, I really hope she likes it. I had a great time making this. So, all right, guys, hope you enjoyed and I will catch you on the next video. All right, bye.